Good morning, folks. SDO is back. Data came back online yesterday afternoon, and as expected, things are relatively calm on our star. Geomagnetic unrest has waned from the coronal hole stream two and a half days ago, and we aren't seeing more of them, or solar flares or filaments erupting in Earth's direction. In fact, we are only seeing smaller sunspots at this time as well. Equatorial group is developing, but also heading for the limb and then out of view. Either way, Nice to have the primary satellite back online. We're starting the science with the eye candy. Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope promo from Hubble as it's got 200 times the power in infrared viewing, aiming to look back to cosmic noon to determine why some galaxies progress and evolve slowly, while others have furies of activity, star formation, and then rapidly sputter to a halt. Fun science, fun animation, but still five years away from launch. A quick note here and a golf clap for the continued refocus of the field. Investigating more about Dansgaard Oshker events, DOs for short. Investigating Heinrich events as well, the fourth harmonic of the 1500 year DO cycle. And Heinrich and DOs together in the same paper. None of this is anything most of you don't know, but it's also fantastic to see the field putting so much publication effort into those 1500 and 6000 year cycles of Earth. Next one happening this century and beginning to unfold as Earth's magnetic field enters excursion, which is going to cause the animal kingdom and the entire food chain to pretty much go haywire. And as we've seen hypothesized before, it'll be for a variety of reasons. While oceans of uncertainty remain, we now know that there are several pathways and purposes to animal magnetic sense, all of them critical for species survival and all at risk as the magnetic field of Earth continues to change. Of course, we've also been showing why and how the Earth's rotation is affected. This year is already guaranteed to be the fastest year on record, breaking the record set the last several years as well. And while 2021 couldn't best 2020's fastest day marks, which actually broke previous records 28 times in that year, we have just broken that record yet again this year. In fact, not only was yesterday the fastest rotation day on record, we're going to break that record again today and likely again tomorrow. The fastest rotation means the shortest time for a full rotation of the planet. The days grow shorter. And while I wouldn't expect the model to be so accurate out to September, we are due to break these records again this year. Remember, if solar storms to the magnetosphere and the periodic geomagnetic jerks are both known to affect Earth's rotation.